God created the seas and the land. God made plants and trees with fruits and flowers of all kinds. On the fourth day, God made the sun to shine in the day, the moon to glow at night, and the stars to twinkle. On the fifth day, God filled the sky with birds and the seas with fish. On the sixth day, God made animals of all shapes and sizes. Then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness. So God created man and woman. On the seventh day, God rested from all his work. He blessed the seventh day and made it holy. And so God created the world and it was good. And that's how God made the world, full of beauty and wonder for us to enjoy. Let's learn about Psalm 8 as it tells us about God's beautiful creation. Look up at the sky. See the sun shining so high. Look at the moon and stars sparkling bright way up high in the night. Look at the sea with waves so blue and the sandy shore just for you. See the tall mountain reaching the sky where birds and trees climb up so high. In the forest, hear the birds sing and see the flowers dance in the spring. In the meadow, feel the soft green grass with butterflies fluttering as you pass. By the river, see fish swim and drink while birds dip their beaks without a wink. Look at the butterfly, so delicate and light, resting on the flower, a beautiful sight. And we, like children, laugh and play in God's creation every day. God made us all so special and unique to care for each other and nature, so to speak. So let's thank God for all we see, for his creation, so wild and free. God's creation is wonderful and grand with beauty and love across the land. Thank you, God, for all you've made, for the world so beautiful where we all play. Proverbs 1, 1, 6 lets us know that wisdom begins with fear of the Lord. Listen, my children, to the teachings of old wisdom's treasure chest, a story to be told. Wisdom's lessons are like a bright, shining light guiding us through darkness, making all things right. To understand wisdom, you must first seek with open hearts and minds, eager and meek. In these words written on scrolls and in ink lies the path to wisdom clearer than you think. Wisdom brings understanding of the world we see, the beauty of nature, the melody of the bee. With wisdom as our compass, we'll never lose our way guiding us through life, come what may. So let's seek wisdom with all our might, learning and growing, shining so bright. For wisdom begins with fear of the Lord, the foundation of knowledge, our truest reward. As we journey through life, let wisdom be our guide leading us closer to God with hearts open wide. With wisdom in our hearts and the Lord by our side, we'll walk in his ways with joy as our guide. 
So let's pray for wisdom each and every day to walk in his light and never stray. For wisdom is a gift, precious and rare, guiding us always in God's loving care. So let's seek wisdom with all our might, shining like stars in the darkest night. John 1, 1, 18 teaches us that in the beginning was the word. In the beginning, before time had begun, there was the word shining like the sun. The Word was with God, and the Word was God in His presence. All things were awed. Through Him, all things were made. By His powerful hand, the earth was laid. In Him was life, a light for us to see, shining in the darkness, setting us free. The Word became flesh and lived among us, showing us love and grace in Jesus Christ, the Son. We saw His glory, full of grace and truth, in His words and deeds, the proof. From His fullness, we have all received, grace upon grace, our hearts relieved. No one has ever seen God, but Jesus made him known. Through his love and mercy, his glory shone. For in Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh, we find redemption, our souls refreshed. So let us believe in the Word, so true, bringing light and life to me and you. For in him is life, and that life is the light of all mankind, shining forever bright. And so, in the beginning, and forevermore, the Word shines on, our Savior and Lord. Glory to God in the highest, for his Word has come to bring us peace and joy. In him we're one. <laughs>